Hi, this is Trailers from Hell, and I'm George Chickenlooper, and you are about to see the trailer from one of the more interesting films of the 1970s, Richard Serafian's Vanishing Point. And here it is. I saw this picture first at the Starlight Drive-In Movie Theater in Redwood City, California, when it came out in 1971. This is one of those counterculture pictures that was made in, in the wake of Easy Rider. But at the time, I was uh, six years old. What traumatized me was the naked girl on the motorcycle. I think it was the first time I'd ever seen a naked woman, possibly in my entire life. To know what I'm talking about, my mother was a political activist in the early 1970s, and um, this movie was her cup of tea. It, it sort of represented everything she stood for. Counterculture, she was a political activist, um, always getting in trouble with the police, uh, staging demonstrations against the Vietnam War. Of course, I'm not talking about Vanishing Point at all, but this movie has a real context from my childhood. They want to get him and put him away, but they'll have to catch him first. Cleavon Little, I remember him well. Um, he was in Blazing Saddles, uh, the sheriff, I recall. But anyway, this uh, picture, I saw it a couple of times, maybe once or twice. When I was a kid, my, I used to, if I saw a picture I really liked, I'd drag my mother and father to take me to see it again. And we just saw this picture always at the drive-in. And seeing it again recently, it's got this real kind of neo-realist quality to it. Serafian did a really great job in, in capturing the, the minutia of, of these sort of desert towns. And in fact, the picture is, is really a Western. It's a modern-day Western. You know, with this Barry Newman character set up against, you know, the establishment. It's kind of an inverted Western where the establishment now, the, the bad guys in town are the sheriff and the outlaw is the good guy. And that's kind of a symptomatic of the counterculturalism of the early 1970s. <laughs> The police numbers are getting closer, closer, closer to our soul hero in his soul moment. It really captures its time well, and and it and it's not doesn't feel like one of these really dated. Uh, pictures. It, it really gives, has a kind of timeless quality to it that I think is wonderful and it certainly registers for me on all kinds of personal levels. 